Hello, got a quick tutorial video for you today. I'm going to show you how to make a two-way power door using logic gates. Now the door also has an emergency lockdown. When you activate the siren in your settlement, the door will shut and the switches will stop functioning. It's very cool, it keeps the baddies out, and I will show you how it's done. Alright, so first up we've got our rolling metal door from the warehouse tab. We've got an outside switch. Um, this pillar and the conduit are just to get wires around this wall, you'll see in a minute. We've got a power source, our siren, our inside switch, and we're going to be using two logic gates. We're going to be using a NAND logic gate and an AND logic gate. Now, I've only started messing about with these recently. Um, by recently, I mean today. <laughs> um, I've just been too lazy to figure out how they work, to be honest. Um, but they are quite handy if you can be bothered. Now basically, how they work is each logic gate has a set of rules that determine whether or not it will transmit power. Now they have an input side in red and an output side in black. Now the NAND logic gate will transmit power unless all of the inputs have power. Conversely, the AND logic gate will only transmit power if all of the inputs have power. Now it's going to be easier to understand what that means once we start connecting all this business up and I can actually show you it in action. Now the first thing we're going to do is take our power source and connect it to the input on the NAND gate like so. As you can see we've got a green light that just came on there. Then we're going to power up our siren here. There we go, it doesn't have to be the same power source that you connected to the logic gate, it can be any power source as long as the siren is connected to power somehow. Then we connect the siren to the input on the NAND gate. Now you can see the output side has now lit up and that is because we've got two inputs one of which has power, the generator, and the siren which does not have power because it's switched off. Now we're going to take the output and connect it to our indoor switch. As you can see the switch now has power. Next thing we need to do is take our switch and connect it to the input on the AND gate. I'm going to do it via this conduit here just so it, I don't have a wire going across the door. So connect that and then connect that. Now you can see both the input and the output have lit up and it's because we've only got one input and it is receiving power. Therefore this logic gate is transmitting power. Alright, next thing we need to do we're, um, we're gonna give the outdoor switch some power. Again, it doesn't have to be the same power source you've been using for the other stuff. Any old power source will do. And then I'm gonna connect this switch to the input on the AND gate as well. So we've got the generator and the siren connected to the input on the NAND gate and then we've got our two switches connected to the input on the AND gate. So let's do that. There we go. Eh. Now the final thing we need to do is connect our output to our rolling metal door like so. It doesn't matter that the logic gate is on the wrong side, it'll just go through and connect anyway. So that's all fine. And voila! The door opens! Hurrah! Alright, now let's get out of build mode and start playing with some switches so I can show you the door in action. So if I turn this off, the door closes, 
turn it back on let's go through now if we turn this one off door closes turn it back on door opens and now watch what happens when we activate our siren there we go the door shuts if we try the switches now as you can see this switch is no longer receiving power and it's because both of the inputs on the NAND gate have power which means it will not transmit power to this switch so we flip the switch nothing's gonna happen also if we've got someone trying to use this switch on the outside even though it's still receiving power because it's connected directly to our generator it won't open the door now why is that? it's because of the AND logic gate the AND logic gate needs both inputs to have power in order to transmit power but one of the inputs is now no longer receiving power therefore neither is our door we switch the siren off the door opens again okay so as you can see we're here in sanctuary I thought it would be a good idea to show you the door in an actual structure now this isn't my actual gatehouse um, I haven't built it yet um, this is just me messing about trying to come up with ideas as you can see the wall only goes to there um, Right, let's have a look. So I had to glitch a couple of wires through the walls. So we got that one there from that switch to a conduit to the logic gate. And then over here, we've got one from the logic gate going out here to my siren. Now, one thing I found about the sirens is that it seems like you have to connect them to the logic gate directly. Um, as in not via a conduit because for some reason it doesn't work if you do that uh, I guess it's a bug with the logic gates or something um, I don't know if it's just me experiencing that but that's what I found anyway um, so yeah the wire the wiring doesn't look too bad it's a little bit messy but I could live with that I think yeah so let's have a quick look at it working there we go, door closing. And then if we try the siren. There we go, you can see the door shuts. And you can see that switch is now powered off. So let's turn that off before everyone panics. False alarm, guys. So, there we go. I hope you found that helpful. I hope it was easy enough to follow along with. Please give the video a like if you liked it, and maybe check out some of the other stuff on my channel. If there's enough crap on there you like, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. I'll put a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.